These are devotions for people at a social distance. Today is Ash Wednesday. It is the first day of the season of Lent. And uh, if you're at all familiar with the traditions of Ash Wednesday, you know that on this day, in certain traditions, certain Christian traditions, uh, people often have the imposition of ashes. And so on this day, you will often see people uh, with uh, little uh, ash crosses on their foreheads. Uh, I particularly like on this day looking out for celebrities who have uh, ash on their forehead. I suspect perhaps this year we might see uh, President Joe, Joe Biden, uh, given his dedication to the Catholic tradition, might be sporting some ashes as, as, as well might uh, Justin Trudeau and many other uh, uh, pra practicing Catholics and Anglicans. Uh, it is an important tradition. Now, it's not particularly one that I have ever practiced. I've never been in a church where uh, we actually uh, have the imposition of, of ashes. But I was thinking, obviously, about what the day might mean and how we might mark it, especially in these days when, you know, for a lot of people, uh, actually wearing ashes around is not a possibility because you're not going to risk being that close to somebody who might put those ashes on you. What does it mean, Ash Wednesday? What is it about? Well, I was reading this morning, um, these are traditional readings for Ash Wednesday uh, from Isaiah 58, five to eight. And this reflects on what this day is supposed to mean and maybe how we can celebrate it this year. Is this a fast that I choose? A day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? And of course, that idea of lying in sackcloth and ashes uh, was this kind of symbol in that ancient society of, of repentance, sometimes regret, sometimes a desire to make change. And you symbolize that and showed it by, by putting ashes on your head or by sitting on those ashes and, and lying in you know, very cheap clothing like sackcloth. Uh, but it was obviously a symbol and not the reality. And what is the reality that we should be striving for in this day? Isaiah goes on, verse 6, Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo, undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, to break every yoke. In other words, let's get rid of slavery, let's get any form of slavery, <coughs> any form of, of injustice, and bondage within our society? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, bring the homeless poor into your house when you see them naked to cover them, and not to hide yourself from your own kin, take out for, take care of, look out for one another? This is what should properly, you know, any outer symbol you wear, and if you want to wear ashes on this day, you know, all power to you if you're able to have them placed on you, but um, it's about how we live our lives. And it's in particular, very clearly, on how we think of and treat and take care of the disadvantaged, the forgotten in this society on this day. Uh, kind of very much aware that there are lots of people uh, in places like, like Texas, other parts of the United States, uh, that are not used to extreme winter weather, who are suffering and struggling. Uh, what does it mean to celebrate Ash Wednesday, when that kind of suffering is going on. And of course, in the midst of a pandemic, and as all kinds of people are um, are, are struggling with, um, with loss of jobs, with isolation, and of course, with the sickness uh, stemming from uh, the pandemic, and also, you know, surgeries and other treatments that are delayed. What does it mean to be celebrating Ash Wednesday this year? we may not have an opportunity to actually place ashes on our heads in the traditional fashion, but we can definitely celebrate Ash Wednesday. Lord our God, as we think of many who are struggling, marginalized, forgotten in our society today, especially in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of some extreme weather, in the, in the midst of everything that's going on in our society, let us, let us uh, not worry so much about the, the physical aspects of celebrating Ash Wednesday, but let us make sure that we actually live it out in our encounters on this day and in the weeks to come. Amen.